All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, go ahead, hit that like button, leave a comment, and as always, ring the bell so you get those updates when I drop a new video. Uh, today in Tableau, but I'm mixing it up a, uh, a little bit here. So uh, I want to show you a dashboard that I put together as part of the uh, Real World Fake Data Initiative run by Mark Bradburn, uh, who's a solution engineer over at uh, Tableau. Um, so I want to show you this dashboard, and then I'm going to give you uh, the references, going to give you the, the framework here to put this together yourself right without the the hands-on step by step and then in a subsequent video we'll come back and and kind of do some of that more hands-on um uh, hand holding right so um first i want to thank you for helping this channel reach 10,000 subscribers as you can see, this is the first video that I've made after I passed the 10,000 subscriber mark. So thank you very much for watching and liking and subscribing. You know, make sure you tell a friend about the channel. I really appreciate all you've done uh, in supporting this channel over the years. Just wanted to, to thank you for that first. So why did I decide to kind of do this, this project framework? Uh, I'll show you. You know, I do read your comments when you put them out there. Uh, Ananya left a comment saying, please do some short project ideas using Tableau. That would be relevant for people all around the world. So thank you, Ananya, for leaving that comment. And so I figured, okay, instead of me just, you know, rushing into the dashboard, let me just put the framework out here, show you the references that I used to put this together. And then, you know, let's see your version, post the, the uh, your Tableau public link here, and then we'll go through and... Um, um, try and show you some of the techniques that I use to put this together. So let's let's get into the dashboard here. Let me walk you through the dashboard that I want you to try and put together. Okay, so here is the dashboard. Um, if you know what I'm referring to when we talk about Inatech and uh, TPR reports, if you know what classic movie I'm talking about, no cheating, no going to Google, Go ahead and drop a comment just saying uh, you know you know what I'm talking about in the movie, right? So this is the dashboard. Again, it's using uh, data from the Real World Fake Data Initiative run by Mark Bradburn. And so it's help desk tickets. And this dashboard is heavily inspired by uh, Zen Master uh, Lindsay Betsendahl, right? So um, I saw that she had a really cool blog post on filter indicators. So let's take a look. So if I select let's say open tickets, right? The dashboard filters, and you see I have a little indicator here, right? Pretty cool. And so all of these other groupings here for severity and owner group, these should all add up to 6,838, right? So if I select, let's say low, well, let's select high severity, right? So now I've got 1,118. All of these should sum up to, to that number. I'm going to pick a networking group, 227, right? Everything changes to 227. Uh, all of these, um, this is a bin, a distribution of tickets by days open. Uh, basically, you can see, let's say 21 days open, I've got 17 tickets <laughs> that were open. Um, I can switch this over use a button technique here to switch this over to more of a line graph if I wanted to do that. And then, you know, I can select on um, uh, each of these areas here. Let's select access login. You see, I got the filter indicator that pops up here as well. And obviously this filter. So it's a lot, it's like a walk down almost, right? So you start with a high number and then as you filter, everything updates to get you um, uh, to tie out to your overall number. You can see here, I've got um, the total number of records selected out of the total with a percentage. And then, you know, this is just another uh, filter here. If I select uh, highly satisfied, this will give me 15 tickets and you'll see I get the indicator here. So that's a really cool technique. Learn that from, from Lindsay uh, Betsendahl uh, on her blog. I'm gonna go through um, some of the references I use to build this out. And then if I want to see, right, I've got 15 tickets. And you can see I've got the percentage 
here I'll, I'll walk you through here all of these have percentages percentages of the uh, the total here and so I want you to again to recreate this you're gonna have the filter indicator you're gonna have a means to filter the uh, the dashboard doing this this walk down process it uses uh, filter actions and set actions now you know it doesn't have to look exactly like this but I wanted to have this functionality if you want to try and do this uh, at home right we've got the buttons make sure you've got a button um, that's going to toggle between two different uh, charts and you know put whatever chart you want in here I'd say you know have a line chart uh, have a, a distribution uh, if you if you want to do that as well, if you want to follow along here. And so now let's say I've got 53 records selected. I'm going to view the TPR report. I go over here. This filters through and shows me those 53 records, those high severity records um, that we selected on the first dashboard. Right. And so just the priority here, I'm just showing, you know, if you're open um, less than 40 days, your four stars, less than 33, so on and so forth, right? Just using stars for that. And, right, you've got that detail here, your help desk TPR report detail return. So just to review, right, I want you to have kind of these different areas, ticket status, severity, owner group, um, and then you can throw the, uh, the satisfaction uh, field in there as well. And as you filter, right these numbers should should update or as I even as I unfilter right the numbers should update and it's it's all about filter actions here but you need to know this technique from Lindsay Betts and all so let me go to uh, my my um, PowerPoint here and show you where I I um, uh, reference these techniques to build out the dashboard so you can follow along okay so where are you going to get the data? You're going to get the data from the real world fake data, data set number five for help desk, right? Sons of hierarchies.com for filter indicators, right? This is a Lindsay Betzendahl uh, technique. You're going to go to her blog and read up on uh, uh, the formula that you need to pull this off essentially, right? Per the percentage of records selected. Remember up in the corner, I had that percentage of records selected. I have a video that shows you how to do that. I'm actually referencing a technique by uh, by Ryan Sleeper, but it's changed a little bit since um, the older version of uh, Tableau. I'm using 2020.4.1 to build this out. So you can still, the pieces to, to calculate the percentage are there. You just may have to change. You won't have number of records, but you'll have, um, there is something that you will have in Tableau. I don't want to give it away, um, but you should have. If you're using the CSV file, you'll see something that says CSV. You can use that instead of number of records. For the buttons, very good template, button template um, from Kevin Flerledge. Uh, here is the link to that, that post. And for the show hide containers, remember I use the buttons to show and hide containers. You can go to my blog, build a Tableau COVID-19 uh, dashboard part three, right, on this link. And then you can also look at show and hide containers in Tableau, right, uh, on my YouTube channel. And then for container layouts, again, uh, in build a Tableau COVID-19 dashboard part three, um, I, at the end of the video, I show you how to lay out your containers so you don't have uh, all of those tiles. I'll show you, I'll go back into the dashboard and show you. And then Curtis Harris just has a really great post on uh, layout containers. You can also use that um, to, to lay out your containers here for, for this dashboard. Now back to Tableau here, I want you to see how clean my item hierarchy here is. I've got some, some floating things, a button, I've got a floating horizontal that we, if you look at my, my technique from the COVID part three, you'll see how we do that. I've got a logo and then I have, you know, a main layout and I've got horizontals here, right? So within that horizontal, uh, I have uh, this in the vertical and then I've got these blanks. And so the blanks are just, right, kind of filler right to give that to give it that delineation and so you can easily read this there's no tiled within the horizontal here let's say for this horizontal I've got the filter indicator right and then I have the selector and then I have a blank here right just to just to fill that out and the top selector right if I go over let me do this this tops I'm calling this top selector if I go in here 
right? I've got a filter summary there on the side for some flourish. I've got each of the areas, then I've got a blank in between, right? I've got uh, that uh, that sheet, then another blank, and I've got that sheet. So you see how the layout's very clean. There's no tiling in here. And so you need to go check out the Curtis Harris video or my COVID uh, part three video to, to see how to do that. Okay, as part of business first, you know, go ahead, post your finished dashboard to, da to uh, Tableau Public, of course. And I use Tableau Desktop 2020.4.1 and just published it up to Tableau Public. But you can use Tableau Public. I mean, I, I love Tableau Public. You can directly use Tableau Public. Share your link in the comments here, right? I've got 10,000 plus subscribers um, that can view your accomplishment. So go ahead and post your link in the comments when you finish. You can also post to Twitter. LinkedIn. Now, make sure to include. Now, if you're going to put it out there on Twitter and LinkedIn, just put the inspired by Anthony Smoke. Don't be that person that just, you know, um, doesn't recognize the work of uh, the uh, people in the data fam, right? So let's just give some credit where credit is due. Um, include the hashtag business first, right? Um, let's help each other find each other's um, dashboards so that uh, you know we can learn from them and then you can interact with my dashboard version on tableau public right so just find anthony smoke on tableau public and take a look again this is the business first uh, initiative we'll give this a try want you to have some interesting uh, projects to work on without the hand holding that's how you really learn right um, you can see I used a lot of references from the data fam. That's that's just how you get better. Um, you know, you take a look at people that are, that are doing things better than you're doing at the moment. And that's how you catch up. So in any event, this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this business first project. Get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching.